Greetings and welcome to the Randomly Speaking Podcast with Rain on YouTube. Um, today we're going to be going over updates on the R. Kelly situation. I will con- be continually updating you on the trial, when we ever get to the trial, and anything in between. Instead of talking about it on the podcast, I'll be doing it and putting it on YouTube. And we'll go from there. So, um, a lot has happened with R. Kelly. At least three, four things since he's been in jail. This is the last update. And we'll just go through it and I'll give you my thoughts. And these are all my personal opinions. If you like it, you don't have to listen. And if you don't like it, comment and tell me why. You know, but this is just me ranting and raving about R. Kelly. Okay, let's get started. As you know, R. Kelly is in jail in Illinois. But he also has cases pending in Minnesota as well as New York. Um, There was a case in Atlanta. We still haven't heard back about that. So I don't know what's going on with that. But R. Kelly just had a court date. It was supposed to be in New York. Of course, he didn't go because he's still in jail there. Um, There was an issue about transportation. Um, They had put a warrant out for his arrest because he didn't show up. Then how's he going to show up if he was already in jail? So that, you know, that was kind of stupid to me to put a warrant out for his arrest. He's in jail. Where is he going to go? I mean, it it happens, I guess. Anything to stick it to his ass. Okay, so R. Kelly wants out of jail. He's been complaining about his health and how he's unable, he has, um, some issues that they're not treating in jail a hernia as well as some other things i'm sure they're giving him his herpes medication i mean allegedly (laughs) so uh, i mean be happy about that right um he's mad because he can only see one of his girlfriends and not the other one look they they party and live in their life anyway so they don't really want to see you you know (laughs) The girlfriends are funny because all of a sudden now they're on Snapchat dressing like normal people because before that they weren't dressing like normal people. They would be head to toe covered, but now all of a sudden they're showing all this skin and they out partying and everything else. Um, they're trying to find management so they can get a little deal going so they could be represented. Some people are saying so they can pay his legal bills. Some people saying so they can start their own career. I think it's both. I don't know why. Stockholm Syndrome? Maybe. I don't know. So let's start with this story. <laughs> the second story. R. Kelly is supposedly broke. This is what we keep hearing. He don't have no money. Old girl had to bail him out. You know, the restaurant lady in Illinois um, who had the restaurant in Blue Island and now the restaurant's having problems and her child care service isn't getting as much business because she bailed out R. Kelly by the way, she tried to sue to get the money back. And the judge said no, because he's been uh, indicted on charges. He's in jail for charges, so you can't get your money back. But you said it's not... Okay, she said he paid her back the money. The money she put down for pay, for bail. So why are you suing to get the money back? If he's already paid you, you should not need any more money. Right? Unless you're trying to double your money back. She's a scammer. That's that's a scam. If he already paid you back, you should be good. Okay. So, apparently R. Kelly has been squirreling away money in one of his friend's bank account. So, all those times he gets talking about when he went to the bank and there was nothing in there. It's not because he's broke. Apparently, maybe he's keeping money in other people's account. That's not a legal thing you should be doing, by the way. But he did it, apparently. The Brooklyn prosecutor said Wednesday that R. Kelly has been pushing to get out of jail, okay? And the lawyers are arguing that he's not a flight risk. But I think as soon as, if you let R. Kelly out of jail, that nigga gonna be gone. So he'll, he'll go to some place, hide out for the rest of his life, if you let him. I don't care about the fact that R. Kelly's scared to travel. If my life is on the line, I'm going to travel, right? Okay. All right. 
he's practically penniless thanks to his legal and other woes. You mean the, all those uh, payouts you be giving to these girls over the years? That's why you're supposedly broke. It's because all the money that you've been paying out to these girls and the parents, you know. So don't, don't, including his nasty divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah. The defendant continues to receive hundreds of thousands of dollars in connection with royalties he is owed for his music. The government's investigation has revealed that earlier this year, the defendant redirected those royalties to the bank account of a childhood friend. Regardless of where, where those funds are being held, however, they belong to the defendant, R. Kelly. And at any time, the defendant can redirect those funds and future royalty proceeds earned to an account in his name. Singer's lawyers argue that he's already turned over his passport and isn't interested in international travel. Prosecutors contend that Kelly could get a duplicate and said that when he was previously released on bail in Chicago, he sought to travel to Dubai with his two live-in girlfriends. Told you, that nigga was going to be gone. The feds feel that there's a serious risk that he will obstruct, attempt to obstruct, threaten, intimidate, or attempt to threaten or intimidate one or more prospective witnesses if he's let out. I don't know about that one because you can still threaten someone from behind bars. You could pay people to do that, right? So, apparently, they believe that R. Kelly was behind a type letter to one of the victims threatening to release compromising and potentially embarrassing photographs of her if she sued him. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Now let's talk about him wanting to be free. The judges denied R. Kelly bail. According to the documents, the government says Kelly is definitely a flight risk. Duh. According to the new legal documents, <laughs> according to the new legal documents, Kelly is definitely a flight risk, even though they say his pa passport doesn't contain a single stamp showing international travel. But he went to Africa like a couple of years back. So did he get a new passport? Because he was in Africa at least three to four years back. So, okay. All right. Prosecutor also called BS on Kelly's legal team claiming the singer won't tamper with it or intimidate witnesses. Kelly has a history of coercing women to writing letters containing false and embarrassing allegations so he can later use them as blackmail. That was from, uh, if you watch the uh, Surviving R. Kelly, doc, some of the girls said that he would make them do that. You know, write letters saying that they did this, they did this, and they did that. But in court, th those wouldn't hold up, by the way, especially if they're underage. If you're underage, you cannot legally sign a contract or, you know, sign an NDA. Anything, you can't do it. So it wouldn't have counted anyway. But, you know. But when you're young, you don't know. You don't know. So you sign it. And he's, you know, he he's intimidating. And he'll make you believe some shit and you think it's true. You know. So. They also say Kelly saying he's broke is misleading because he continues to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in royalties for his music. He, the government found out he's redirecting those royalties royalties to a bank account on the, of his childhood friends um the new docs don't have say anything about him him saying that he's in bad health and that he should be released although there are like lots of redacted parts of the on, of the documents so we don't know what's in those but he said he had numbness in his hands anxiety untreated hernia you know Okay, so we finally have a date for his New York trial to actually begin. May 18, 2020, R. Kelly would face charges that he recruited underage girls and women to have sex with him, isolating them and controlling them, what they ate and when they went to the bathroom, etc. The prosecutors say that R. Kelly and his entourage invited women and girls backstage at the concerts, kept them from friends and family, and made them dependent on him financially. 
The Chicago prosecutors said Kelly had sexual contact with five minors and recorded sexual explicit videos of some of them. They also accused Kelly of obstruction of justice by using threats and bribes, including payments of hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep his victims quiet. His trial in Chicago is set for April 27th. Lastly, well not lastly, but in addition to those two federal charges, Kelly is facing charges from state prosecutors in Illinois and Minnesota. Still haven't done, been done with that yet. Okay. And lastly, lastly, when it rains, it fucking pours. Um, R. Kelly is being sued by a gentleman who is a sheriff. His name is Kenny Bryant. He wants to ju- in Mississippi. Um, Kenny Bryant was married, and he is claiming that R. Kelly um, took his woman and um, also gave her a disease and some other stuff, okay? In Mississippi, you can sue people for that, apparently, okay? This case has been going on for a while. Um Kenny Bryant is asking the judge to grant him a default judgment against R. Kelly. Kenny sued R. Kelly, accusing him of breaking up his marriage by carrying out an affair with his wife. He filed his lawsuit in Mississippi, which allows partners to file cases over cheating. The case has been in standstill for months. I heard about this last year. In June, Bryant asked for a trial date to be set in the case. However, Kelly was arrested the following month before the date was set. So can't have him arrested if he's already arrested so best of luck with Kenny the judge hasn't come back with anything yet but best of luck for that and that ladies and gentlemen is my R. Kelly update um please like and subscribe to our podcast it's on iTunes and Spotify the randomly speaking podcast with KP and Rain um we have clips of other episodes on the youtube channel that you can listen to we have a couple of full episodes on there um we also do movie reviews once a month we have some of those we talk about a variety of things fuckery politics social media anything that comes to mind and we go on tangents all the time so come over join us if you like it like i said comment below like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another motherfucking friend that we out here.